Hi friends, I'm Penny Hunt and this is Penny Heart to Heart Day 49. 49. 49 days that I have been in my home. 49 days that I have come to you with live videos sharing some of my tips, sharing some of my ideas, and sharing this time together that we have been kind of quarantined at home. Today is day 49 that I have been in my home and the 49th video I have made. So that's quite a, um, that's quite a long time. I, before I share a tip that I want to share with you today, I want to um, remind you that I'm giving away books. If you would like one of my books, I know that's backward. All you have to do in the comment line is write, I'd love your book and I will put you in the drawing for this week's giveaway. I will let you know on Sunday who wins and get that in the mail as soon as I can. I've had great fun giving away my books during this time, um, 49 days of coming to you. This is week seven that I've given away books. <clears throat> I want to talk to you today about um, something I wrote about several years ago. And as always, if there's a writing that corresponds with what I'm talking about, I always link it in the... Um, along with this video and the link is there and the writing is called are you satisfied and i want to tell you a story about why i wrote that and um, why i think it pertains to this time i wrote it years ago one of the things that i love to do and miss doing right now as many of us are is going out to eat and um, i love to eat i have a great sweet tooth and it's um, kind of a ritual that piece of going out to eat and going into a nice restaurant and sitting down and sharing a meal with someone. I always think it's an intimate thing to share food with someone, whoever it is. Um, and you get to know people that way. But this was years ago. I was out to, for dinner and had had a lovely dinner. And afterwards, the server came and, as they usually do, came up and said, um, would you like to order dessert or are you satisfied? Now that stopped me because I'm used to them saying, would you like to order dessert? Would you like some dessert? Would you like to look at our dessert tray? Or sometimes they just bring the dessert tray. That is all normal. But what the server said was, would you like to order dessert or are you satisfied? Well, I had to ponder that one because that right there put a little bit of guilt in my mind. I had had a lovely meal. I had had salad and um, probably appetizers and the entree and it was lovely and I really was not hungry. There was no possible way I was still hungry. I just have a sweet tooth. I love dessert. I am so used to ordering dessert. And of course I want dessert. If they come and say, would you like to order dessert or see the dessert tray? Yes, is always my answer. I would like to, even if I share it with someone or just take one bite of it, I love dessert. So when she put it that way, would you like to order dessert or are you satisfied? There was a certain amount of guilt that came along with that. Because, yes, I knew I was satisfied. I wasn't hungry anymore. My stomach was satisfied. My belly was full. There really wasn't a reason for me to order dessert, except that it had become a habit. And I just felt like I needed it or deserved it. I don't know what I felt. I wanted it. That was the bottom line. I always wanted dessert. I thought about that. I did not order dessert that night because I just couldn't get it out of my head. The question, the question wasn't, do you want it? It was, do you want it or are you satisfied? And for me, the answer was, yes, I'm satisfied. So I guess I don't want it um, or don't need it at least. After that happened, and that was years and years ago, it happened years before I even wrote about it. After that happened, I started correlating that with a lot of things in life. Do you really need that or are you satisfied? I write a lot about how unless you're grateful for what you already have, you will never get more. And I truly believe that unless you're satisfied with what you have and you're grateful for it, 
you won't get more. And I think that's true. So when you think about that um, criteria of being satisfied, do you need it or do you want it? Or um, do you just expect it? Is it a habit? Um, think about it in that kind of criteria. And I think we've been put in a position the last few weeks and almost two months now of really assessing things like that. If you're like me, 49 days in my home, I have done a couple of curbside pickup grocery runs and um, dropped a couple things off at family's house on the step and left. And that's about it. I think we've gone through a pickup food dinner type thing twice or three times. But I have not left the house. I have not physically been in a store for 49 days. I have not um, purchased anything except groceries and then a few things online and not even much of that. And so I think being in our homes for this kind of space of time and um, many are struggling because they have been laid off from their job or they're not receiving a paycheck. And so that kind of forces you to rethink things. But when you are in your home and you get tired of this situation and you get lonely and you start wanting for things, it really makes you assess what you can live without. What do you really need or what do you want? Or are you really satisfied? One of my very first videos, I talked about having everything I want and that really, other than missing people I love, there isn't a lot that I want. I mean, I'm fortunate enough, I have a freezer, we've had plenty of food and there isn't really anything that I can't live without right now, doing kind of fine. So I think that um, using that criteria of whether we're satisfied or not. Now, I know there are um, food programs, there are people struggling, there are kids that are used to eating meals at school and they're um, in our community, they're doing lunches so that you can drive through and get lunches. And so it's a whole different ball game if you are hungry. If you are hungry, you absolutely need food. You need what you need. But if you are, um, like me and you have food to eat, I think I could probably eat for a very long time just on the food that I have in my home. And um, if you know that your family is safe and healthy and you don't have one struggling with this virus or another illness, um, are you satisfied with that? Or what is it that you really think you can't live without? What has really tortured you during this time? And if you can come up with something just like that, maybe it's time to think about that. Because if you could say, yes, I really want a cheeseburger. But the fact is, do you really need that? Is your tummy satisfied or is it just something that you want? Because there's a lot of luxuries in life that I think um, we think we can't live without that we think we won't be satisfied until we get a mansion or we get the third or fourth car or the second car or whatever it is that we think we need before we can be happy. But this term satisfaction, being satisfied, is something I really want you to think about because I think for many of us, many people are like me. As long as our loved ones, we have our health and our loved ones are healthy, and safe, that really is a place of satisfaction for me. And I think I could be satisfied there. Is there things I like to do? You bet. Is there things I miss doing? You bet. But if those never happened again, would I be satisfied with what I have? And then this concept of when is enough enough? And I think that is something we get really tied into a lot. We are, um, always thinking we need more. We're always thinking we need bigger, we need better. And the reality is we really can only eat one meal at a time. We can really only drive one car at a time. We can only watch one television at a time. So how much, how many do we need? When is enough enough? 
I invite you to write the to read the writing. Um, are you satisfied? And it talks about my experience in the restaurant that night, and it talks about all of these things. When is enough enough? And what do we really need in life? And when will it stop wanting more? And I did a video on what if this pandemic and the situation the world is in really came to us to teach us to slow down and rethink our life a little bit. And I think this could be a big, big part of it. Are you satisfied? I want to remind you today is 49 and tomorrow is day 50. And I think 50 videos is a lot. So I think tomorrow is going to be the last live daily video for this time, for this session. I um, do a lot of live videos and I will continue to do those. But this session of 50 videos during this stay safe in your home time every day at 3 o'clock, I think tomorrow will be the last one. And tomorrow is going to be really great because tomorrow I'm going to talk about everything I've learned from this. Everything I've learned from being in my home for 50 days, not being in a store for 50 days, doing videos for 50 days, um, and just the, the thought of what we as a world have gone through for the last 50 days. I do realize it's not over, and I do realize it can go on for a while yet. I do realize a lot of states um, and countries are opening and letting stores and businesses open again. And I think it's kind of for me a wait and see if um, that's a good decision or not. And we'll know soon enough. But I think um, I'll stop at 50. And like I said, I'll continue to do videos. I always do a video on my weekly writing. So I'll do those. And I will be popping in to do other live videos. But for this um, Heart to Heart, we're in this together um, series of videos, tomorrow will be number 50. And that will be my last one in this series. So please join me. I will be promoting that tonight and tomorrow so that we um, have a great conversation. I thank you for listening. Remember, if you want to be, this is the last book giveaway. If you want it, my book, just write in the comment line, I'd love your book. And um, you'll be in this week's drawing and I'll let you know on Sunday. So think about that concept. Are you satisfied? And set your timer for tomorrow at three o'clock for our last 50 of 50 videos, live videos, three o'clock mountain time. Thank you so much for your time. I'm Penny Hunt. This has been Penny Heart to Heart. Thanks for watching.